Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Those babies are really in there cutting up. I mean, cutting up. Uh, let me give a shout out to uh, Mike Tyson and, and, and Roy Jones, because tonight I think is the big night. Uh, good luck to both of y'all. I pray to God nobody gets hurt. Um, and I think, uh, I think that. Uh, uh, the charities that are going to benefit from this encounter, um, may you be legitimate and put the money exactly where it needs to be. Um, and I just want you guys to be safe because what y'all doing now is embarking on something very dangerous for some uh, middle-aged men. <laughs> uh, so anyway, good luck to both of you. Both of you. Um... Uh, um, but now let me go on a little further with that being said right now how I want y'all to know I thought this was one of the one of the moves that was gonna set your 45 president right off to the rails um but so far he's handling it okay um and that is <laughs> How he feels about, and that is dump, the dumpster, how he feels about Joe Biden naming Cindy McCain as an ambassador. Oh, whoa. He gave her a job as an ambassador from the U.S. to, um, I forgot where. So that's a very interesting concept, and I'm sure... It didn't do anything but to serve to make um, this guy even more angry before he gets up out of there. Because if anything, he does not like John McCain and nothing else that's got anything that's got to do with him. And, um, you know, hell, Biden gave her uh, a front row seat after she forget, uh, after she convinced a lot of her suburbanites to don't fuck with Donald Trump. And it's really crazy. <laughs> so some of this stuff is just really kind of interesting. You know, that's what he's... I'm sorry, y'all. Some of it is just so interesting. Some of it is pathetic. When I, when you don't make content for a minute, and you come back and you look at from a bird's eye view, just what the hell we're doing as a country, it's really pathetic. It is so disgusting that I pray for us. I do every night. I pray for America, and I hope y'all do the same because we are really at a turning point. Um, we're at a turning point in this country. And we do need prayer. We do. We need it. Okay. Now let me let me get off of this. Okay. I come back into a bang, and I understand that people. I understand, but I thought that this was really insane, and this was the Taiwanese lawmakers throw pig intestines in protest of the pork imports coming from the United States of America. Okay, they don't want them. They don't want the pig coming to Taiwan from America. And so, but this is how I want y'all to see how they show out in their, um, I want y'all to see how they show out in their parliament. Look at that. They throw a pig guts and intestines. <laughs> they dressed up, got on their dress up clothes, and these people is throwing intestines, pig guts. Hearts and all types of shit on their Sunday go to meetings. 
What type of madness is this? Look at it. Look at him, y'all. <laughs> now, let me let y'all know something. Um, this is how a lot of countries get down and when they're uh, in politics and they have these parliament meetings or our, our so-called Senate meetings, one thing I appreciate about them, some of y'all might look at it and say, oh, they so violent. Look at them. They so violent. I look at them and say, at least I'm seeing the true colors of these people. And I see the truth of their hearts. Unlike me sitting up here watching Kamala Harris with a mask on, sitting in Congress, fist pumping. Lindsey Graham, as he congratulated her on her win. Something about that visual, Lindsey Graham and Kamala Harris just smiling at him. And they, they, they like, yeah. See, this is a game to them. And what we do over here is you don't have you real feelings because they all fake. And... I'm not saying that we should all get up there and throw intestines in our state senate capital. What I am saying is we got to be authentic and not try to lie, project, you know, because this is what the country was built on, narcissistic behavior. And the flying monkeys are all the institutions like the Congress, the judicial system, the libraries, every institution, the, the school systems, all of it is made to back up their psychosis, okay? So you can have a Kamala Harris running with Joe Biden and acting like they just can to do so much shit opposite of Donald Trump. But then at the end of the day, when you see them in them chambers, they both slapping each other five and fist pumping and all that kind of stuff. I realize that. I realize that. And, and um, But what you can say about these people right here is they authentic. They authentic. 